Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Tyler here at California Adventure, and I thought that since Disney just released a bunch of new concept art for the Pixar Pier and everything, maybe we'd come by and take a look and, and see what's been going on, because it seems like since the last time we did our, our little update, a lot of things have changed. Uh, we'll also go through and show you a few of the new little uh, shops and a new ride that's coming so uh, come on let's go check it out okay guys one of the big major changes that I see right off the bat is that the Paradise Pier sign is actually gone it is disappeared it used to be right here welcoming guests and it is gone I wonder if they're gonna just put a brand new thing here or if they're just decided not to put anything I'm sure there's gonna be a brand new marquee this gift shop here off to the left has been all boarded up and they have the you can see that the top has been removed off of this gazebo here. A long time ago, Duffy used to meet under this gazebo and then they turned it into kind of a pin trading location. But uh, yeah, new shop in incoming. Right across the way from that shop is the old Ariel's Grotto and you can see that they have not only removed all of the covering off of this little gazebo area, but King Trident is just gone. He be missing. I don't know, he's done, so. Goodbye, King Trident. Uh, incoming is the Lamplight Lounge. So Lamplight Lounge is gonna be a brand new restaurant slash bar for guests to check out. And it is gonna be basically a location where Pixar animators and influencers come and they hang out and they will kind of leave little notes on the table and have little napkins left behind and there's gonna be Pixar trinkets everywhere. That means so it sounds like it should be pretty interesting. Here's something that's really cool actually. Uh, before this was Ariel's Grotto, it was actually uh, Avalon Cove by Wolfgang Puck. And you can see now that they've removed some of the old stuff there, you can see the old name, Avalon Cove by Wolfgang Puck. Uh, actually, I think there was a kind of scare going around for a little bit that this was going to be the new name rather than the Lamplight Lounge, but that's not true. This is actually the old name kind of cool to see the old history springing back up. You can see they've kind of removed the awning here. Uh, this is the patio for the old Ariel's Grotto, which will become the Lamplight Lounge. Uh, they're eventually going to be having World of Color viewing out here. That sounds pretty cool. I, I, I would love to see World of Color from that angle. Possibly the most important thing to know about the new Lamplight Lounge is that you will still be able to get the old Cove Bar lobster nachos, so those are not gone, don't worry. Looks like there's a lot of stuff going on right up here. I'm zooming in real quick. I don't know, these guys are putting a bunch of chairs out for some reason. I guess they're getting ready for April. I can't tell if these are brand new chairs or... I'm not exactly sure what is going on there, but there you go, breaking news, chairs. Hairs on the Cove Bar deck. Check out all the work going on on Mickey's Fun Wheel. There's some guys up there. Man, I don't think you could pay me to get on this ride normally, let alone be up there with those guys. I would not be walking around. They look like they're just kind of cleaning it up, getting it ready to look pretty. I don't know what else they'd be doing. Got a few guys up there. Upon further inspection, these guys are not just washing things they're clearly painting things too and i can actually smell the lacquer on the wind so some work is happening so this awning has also been removed here you can see that they're probably going to put something brand new there it's going to be a completely new style and then right behind me is the cove bar which is still pretty much intact they've taken all the chairs out for now but actually come april 13th when the pixar fest starts and pixar here the first phase kind of officially opens Cove Bar will be open again for a limited time so that's an interesting thing to note there Cove Bar has not gone forever quite yet so here's the first thing that Disney announced today on our little stop through Pixar Pier you can see this Paradise Pier ice cream shop is still here it is pretty soon gonna be changed into the adorable snowman's ice cream shop it's pretty cool I don't know I like the design I'm looking forward to that if you know your Pixar history, you know that John Ratzenberger is in every single Pixar movie that's ever been made, and he is also the Yeti, so now he'll be appearing at Pixar Pier as well. And check it out, I like how they have this even new representation here. They have Hector, they have Miguel over there, 
Even the brand new characters have some representation here at Pixar Pier. We can see that they've removed all of the old signs that used to be here. There used to be like a copper tone commercial and a paradise pier, you know, just basically a bunch of beach type stuff. It's all gone now. So here is the front of the Incredicoaster. Check it out. This is the brand new marquee. I kind of like how they have like the Incredibles family kind of underneath here. And if, as you can see in front of the carousel, they're going to have this brand new waterfall. That looks like it's going to be pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of uh, what's their Edna Mode's uh, base, you know. And then over here off to the side, I don't think they've said anything about this yet, but they have this cookie place. I'm not sure this will most likely be food, right? But I would also assume it could give the pictures for the ride. Maybe this is actually where you're going to get the pictures. But Jack-Jack here has a cookie in his mouth. Just says cookie. Can't make out that word. If you think you know what this is, let me know because I don't know if it's food or if it's just where you're going to get your pictures. So here is the very first hill on the old California Screamin', which is now going to be the Incredicoaster, obviously. They're enclosing this tube here for the reason of they're putting incre they're putting the uh, Elastigirl in there. And she's trying to catch Jack-Jack. The whole idea of this ride is going to be that Jack-Jack has escaped and, and the whole family is going to be trying to catch up to him with his crazy superpowers. Somehow he's like the most powerful superhero of the bunch. Another thing they just announced was Jesse's Critter Carousel. And as you can see right behind me, King Trident is going to slowly be turned into Jesse's Critter Carousel. Every single animal on there is going to be different. A brand new animal for everybody. And I'm really excited for it. I love that they're going to have this theme. I think Jesse deserves her, she deserves a little spotlight. So I'm totally stoked. Right here next to Toy Story Mania and that first lift hill is this little shack here which used to sell chimichangas and corn and things like that. Now they're going to be changing into the poultry palace and it's going to be kind of like a, it's going to be themed to like a happy meal if you will. It's going to be kind of like a, a kid's meal, you know, at a fast food place. So I would assume there's going to be kind of chicken nuggets and french fries, things like that. I don't know. Uh, I, I can't, I can't remember any chicken type things in Toy Story besides Al's Toy Barn, but yeah, so I think it's just basically a Happy Meal type theme. So then here, right next to the chicken place, which I, I am assuming anyway, they had the churro cart here before, so they're gonna put Senor Buzz's churros. So obviously, if you've seen Toy Story 2, you've seen Spanish-speaking Buzz, and uh, he will be serving out churros to the youngins right over in this direction. And you can see from the side here that Mickey's Fun Wheel is like completely covered in scaffolding. It's not even just the front or anything. They're like, this thing can't move if it wanted to. Now, along with the other food offerings, we can't really see it from the other side, so we'll have to view it from, uh, from where we are here on the other side of the pier, but this hot dog hut will soon become Angry Dogs themed after Inside Out. Okay guys, so let's do a quick recap of everything happening at Pixar Pier. Um, we'll start at the very beginning here. We have this nice little map that they set up for us. We have Lamplight Lounge going in where Ariel's Grotto used to be. And you can see that it extends all the way to Cova Bar. And actually when I look at it here, it looks like they're going to build this inside. I didn't really realize that, but hmm, you a new wet. wrinkle. But uh, along with that, we have the Incredicoaster is opening up here. And down here, you can even see the new little abominable snowman. You can see the back of him there. He's ready to serve little icy treats for everybody. Up here, we have the cookie place that I was mentioning. I believe that's gonna be photos. That has to be photos, right? I, I don't I don't think they're gonna serve food there, but I could be wrong. And then we have Jesse's uh, little roundup over here. They're basically doing a remake of a carousel, a different, different little skin on the carousel. I'm looking forward to that, the waterfall that I mentioned. Going up to Toy Story, still staying the same. We have the new Pixar Pier logo right up here. There's gonna be the enclosed tube that has Elastigirl going through it. Pixar. We're gonna have new cars on the Mickey's fun wheel. There's gonna be new games behind the fun wheel. And then here, last but not least, this actually looks like, I, I said in the past, that it looks like it's gonna drop people possibly, but it looks more like it's gonna be kind of like, in Flick's Fun Fair, they have the thing that spins. That's what it looks like this is going to be. This is an inside-out themed Flix Fun Fair spinning 
So you kind of sit in it and it just spins. That's that's what it looks like to me. So this answers my question down here. They're going to put a brand new marquee up to mark the entrance of, Parad of Pixar Pier. I keep wanting to call it Paradise Pier still. All right, guys. So thank you for joining me on this trip around Pixar Pier. I hope you enjoyed it. I am looking forward to seeing all this new stuff. If you have something you're looking forward to, write a comment below for me. I read them all. I'd like to see it. And we didn't go over everything in detail today, but in my last video we went over some of this stuff. So I'm going to leave a comment, or I'm going to leave a link down below, and you'll be able to check out anything that I didn't go over in this video. It'll be in the last video. So yeah, there you go. That's Pixar Pier overview. Uh, thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.